Michael Burry's Twitter background proves the apes are about to win. So if you guys aren't aware, Michael Burry is back on Twitter. He reactivated his Twitter account after plenty of months. I don't know exactly how many months it's been, but it's been a while. Let's gather apes. It took us a year, but all the signs I'm seeing are proving that we're getting close to the launch. Let's stop bashing Adam Aaron for donating, Gary for not acting sooner. Things eventually fall into their place. It is a complicated system and the process for them to untangle, but at the end, good will prevail, and we all have invested in AMC for good reasons. Number one, not letting hedgies bring these companies down. Number two, to risk our harder money, our days, our mental health in reaching to the moon. When this starts, make sure you are ready to handle the quick ups and downs. Don't underestimate the MOAS. It'll make you anxious and you'll see rapid change in price and all their hedge funds and corps who invest into these stocks. They will get the biggest return out of the financial gains as well as get rid of the biggest competition, Shitadel. Have faith in yourself, in the process, do what's right for you. The good days are coming, good luck. Been wondering about the macro view of the market, AMC, and the MOAS. Certainly not one to put out all the monies into one asset, but also leaning very heavily on AMC from over a year ago and have added consistently. Story goes, if the market crashes, margin calls happen and short positions must be covered. So if the market crashes, my portfolio goes bad, down 20%, but my AMC GME goes up to compensate up 500% or beyond, AMC hedges my stock holdings, right? Clearly, the market has been on the run for quite some time, and there's always a correction. Always someone calling for a crash and someone I was curious about. And something I was curious about, how rising rates might be a catalyst. Chinese real estate aside, but something else to consider in this global world. But back to AMC. Retirement savings is a different creature than speculative trading on meme stocks. Given many families and friends are heavily into AMC, I still feel very solid about the future of AMC, let alone a short squeeze likelihood if the regulators quit allowing the BS illegal practices from continuing, and the sooner the better, of course. But regardless, apes together strong. If nothing else, we'll support AMC at the box office and drive the stock higher by just being devoted customers. Well, effing over the shorts and line our pockets. We aren't typical traders. They can't scare us away. We are too flipping stupid for a good reason. Curious on any thoughts about this, guys. So what are you guys' thoughts on using AMC or looking at AMC as more or less of a hedge of an overall broad portfolio? So what this ape is saying is that if you hold on to, say, a lot of blue chip companies in your portfolio, but then also hold on to a lot of AMC, instead of watching your entire portfolio go down, say, 20%, if we do see that in a near-term correction or crash, AMC will hopefully kick in and kind of hedge the portfolio. So when one side goes down, the other side, meaning AMC, will go up. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.